Deadpool OST. Hi, Zio Spintero, Z Reviews. Get this mouse pad in the description. It's super cool. A little soft, but I like it. Um, that's a TA-26, and that's a TA-26S. And joining us in the middle is the Earman Amp. To be my reference, and also my guinea pig. Because um, what we're doing is we're telling you why the TA-26S is either better or worse or just fucking annoying than the TA-26. If you have this, basically don't worry about it because all they've changed, according to the APOS article, the APOS uh, purchasing screen, is what's new in the version S. The TA-26S is the second version of the model featuring a 4.4 millimeter balance headphone jack and a backside power switch. That's right, folks. You've heard it here first. They didn't make this a balanced amp. It's got a 4.4 and a quarter inch instead of a quarter inch and a power switch. So their upgrade <laughs> is to put the power switch on the back, like the thing I hate. Like, you don't want to have stuff here, like, like this lives here and I can turn it on and off. Not anymore, because now it's on the back. So if I put it there, if I put the new S there, I gotta walk around, literally get out of my fucking seat, or get a Casa switch. Links to Casa switches where I can be like, hello, Alexa, please turn off my TA-26 tube amp, but that'll go, okay, click. Yeah, honestly, I just wanna get you to buy a Casa switch that changed your life. Um, so, there is an improvement. This is not like a nothing. There's nothing, not, nothing has happened. Something has happened, a big something, a something that X2O should really, just for fuck's sake, just I'm looking at the TA30 here and going, yeah, no, that's that. I want that improvement that they made for the 26S on that. And what that improvement is, is they made the fucking volume pop more linear. Oh, God, you don't understand. Because I'm sitting here. One of the wild, crazy shit I did today is I had this as my, like my, okay, plug into this, clean, like wash, screen clean, you know, cleanse my soul of the tubiness and then go into this and then into that. So I'm like, wait, this has a secondary RCA input and these do preamp ins. So I actually put the right output, the preamp output of the RCA in the back into this and the left RCA output preamp into this. So this setup here with the RI cables, which are Italian, ooh, they're fancy and Italian. Um, they're actually really nice. But, you know, they're expensive, but I didn't pay for them. So that's why I'm like, oh, I want to use those. So I could switch the input, and then I could just adjust the volume knobs independently as the preamp for the second input of this. And it's immediately, it was noticeable before I even did that. But then I'm, like, trying to set the volume, and it's like, that is even. The old one, the old TA-26 is, like, there, and the new one is, like, 2 o'clock. And here's the thing. But Zeo, doesn't that mean it's less powerful? No, because when I nailed both of them, balanced again. So they've changed the linearity of the of the actual volume knob, which is just fucking the TA30 is the worst. Because it's like, I'm gonna turn this up and I've died. But you've only gone like this, sir. I died, dead, immediately. It's like nine watts and it's like, you know what? Watt one through eight, and then like eight and a quarter, eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Like, why the fuck? What the fuck are you doing? Um, I'm a big proponent of 4.4 millimeter, even if it's not balanced for realsies. Because here's the thing, like periapt cable. Look at this thing. Look at this snake cable. The green and the yellow matching the yellow on my HD600s. And it's like, oh, it's perfect. And I have this cable... And the problem is it's a 4.4, and it's like, unless I get a hard audio cable that could swap the ends, wallpaper available on the horde, um, it's annoying because it's like, all right, well, now I gotta get an adapter, I gotta plug the adapter in, and then I can plug the adapter into this, and now I have a thing, but it's not the same thing. So I'm okay if, even if your unit isn't balanced, and they have an indicator here, which I don't know what that e even means. There's a picture of a headphone there, and a picture of a headphone with two lines which would indicate balance. They, they say some bullshit about how balance eliminates noise, but that's only if it's actually balanced. There's not enough tubes here to make it. By the way, these have been running for like eight hours. I set this up to do the review. Went upstairs, made food, took a nap, woke up, made more food, then decided, all right, I should go downstairs. So they are both equally warmed up. This one obviously has more time on the tubes, but either way, I don't know if this is a new thing or just a new different tube because if you look at the top of the big tube, the power tube, 
is white paper on this one, and it is silver on this one, but they are the same tube, but that's definitely a different seat. Slight veering off course, because we'll, we'll get back to the amplifier and the and the, oh, the good things and off oh, the bad things and off oh, the great things. But a little bit about tubes. When I have to review a tube amp, the problem is that tubes aren't very precise things. They're sort of winging it. And even if you had the exact same tube of the exact same power uh, production line, 25 of them in a row, if you lined up 25 TA26Ss in a row and you had 25 tubes from the exact same line and you let them all warm up, there'd be variations. Slight, but they'd be there. More so than almost any solid state amplifier. So sitting here, I'm going, huh, this sounds like it's got more soundstage. And it does. It legitimately sounds different. But why? Because I mean, the one that I've been using for a while, the tubes breaking. Do you want to shut these both off, let them cool down, swap all the tubes, and then test again? Because they haven't changed. They literally would tell you, companies love to make a Model S and change stuff. Why they change for only this reason is weird. Because, I mean, thank you for adding the 4.4. It means all my IEM cables that I have can just stay on the same connector, and you plug it in, and it just grounds these two together, and it acts like a normal quarter inch or 3.5, just more robust than the 3.5. But, like, why does it sound slightly different? And that's back just to the, the randomness of tubes. These are years apart. This was last year, and this arrived, like, a week ago. Not even a week ago. So, you know, maybe Jim, who rocks in the production line on the fucking amplifier, sneezed or he had a cold or he worked better than he did when he was drunk, when he, his wife left him here. And then over here, he's a newborn baby with his new girlfriend, so he's super happy and working better. It's like, I don't know. And then it's, is the amplifier the same or is it just a tube? Um, there is a slight finish difference. This is a lighter gray. This is a darker, more metallic, shiny gray. They've also changed from a three slot in the front here to a probably much cheaper one slot. Cause it's like, this doesn't really matter. It's just a visual thing. Just make it one big slot and actually a little bit shorter. Um, they made the X2O TA26 logo. They consolidated on the left-hand side. They've somehow made the blue LED even fucking brighter and more annoying on the new one. I actually, you can't see it all the way on this one because I still have a gray tack. That's this shit. It's poster tack, but I use it for fucking everything. And what I do is I take some of it, very small amount, just a very, very small amount. Zeos, link, link, link this stuff, the oohoo. You, you ball it up into like a little booger, and you just roll it right over your blue light. Now the blue light's completely gone, but you don't want that because it's a tube amp, and you don't want to leave it on all the time because power tube amps only last a little bit. And you just shove your fingernail into it and start scraping away at it. This way you're left with just the smallest little amount See that? Look at that. Oh, so see, I can still see a blue light, but it's not a flashlight. Same with this one. We're both, we have to calm the blue lights. Isn't that nice? It's lovely. Um, so yeah, let's just put away the HG 600s because those are the oldest of old school tellers of tales. We'll try the HG 280 Pros for a split second because uh, we can go here. And I did test with the adapter between the 4.4 and the quarter inch, just in case. So I plugged an adapter in this and I was going 4.4 into the adapter, the 4.0 into the adapter, and there was no difference. So that's correct. Oh, there's another thing we have to correct also. So we fixed with some gray tack. Now we've got a, um, a silver Sharpie Zeos. Silver Sharpies are great because the problem which consisted on this one and has passed over is do you see the volume indicator on that red knob? Hold on, let me get the camera off my head so you can actually get a look. Like, do, uh, do, do, you, do you see it? Do you see where it is? Do you see where it is? Neither fucking do I. Because it's it's literally this notch here, which if you see it in the perfect light. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I, I could see it. Do you, do you, uh, you kind of see it? Yeah, it's right there. It's at like, like 11 o'clock. You know, we're going to take a fucking Sharpie. We're going to fix that. Just like I did on this one so we could actually visualize it. So helping out with the linearity of the, of the volume pot is great because that means you can go up higher without blowing your brains out and it continues all the way up. But this, this is some bullshit. We're paused, right? We're not gonna blow up the headphones. There we go, nice. Put a nice thick line. And I would do this with a, um, either a silver Sharpie or if I really wanted to be fancy, I would get, get out the... Uh, Pasca Japanese white paint pens. But there, now at least I can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it now? 
Here, look, can you see it? You see where the volume is? That's all I want. And I'm in under this light. Like, this is a studio conditions lighting, and it's like I couldn't see it. So imagine you're like dimly lit room at night. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. By the way, this is not me on coffee. This is me on hot sauce. I made a steak, and I put uh, the last dab on one of them. And it was like, you know what? Even though this bottle's been open for like a year and a half, this shit's hot. Um, 280 Pros, $100. This is a headphone. Well, the previous version was a headphone I used for the longest in my entire life. Forever and ever and ever. And uh, there's the r &L indicators that I've added. I forgot that they were backwards. Oh, they were... Oh, they're so, so quiet. So much fun. All right. Get us the Deadpool. London Grammar. Oh, we got lots of London Grammar. Hold on. Jesus, the contrast. So Black Ice Audio, the makers of things like this, have uh, they've reached out to me, I'm talking to them, talking with Jamie, their guy there, and they're talking about, oh, they do all this customization, but we're going to go to shows, we want to show off the difference that the tubes can make. And they asked me for headphone advice because I seem to know a thing or two. And I literally, because they didn't have a big budget, they're, they're a pretty small shop, Black Ice Audio, because they don't murderously overcharge for their stuff. But I'm like 280 Pros. And you know what? I sit here right now, Okay, I'm analyzing London Grammar. Strong, the high contrast remix. It's very clear. We've got some, okay. And that's 100 times better. That's the only way to listen to these for fun. And here we'll go over. And we had the volumes at the same level and I nearly died. Oh my God. You know what? It might be actually worth it. Legitimately, even if they sound exactly the fucking same and there's more doing because there's a fucking with the power switch on the back, fuck. That linearity to the volume knob is just here. Ready? Are you ready? These are very sensitive I am. Uh, these are very sensitive I am. They're in-ear monitors. You have to put these in your ears. So we're going to go from the bottom. We're just going to go up. That's from all the way down to nine o'clock. Nine to 10 is like twice as loud. So let's go over here. Now keep in mind, we're running off the same exact DAC for all of these, because I have a Gashelli distribution DAC, which is a project I'm working on with them. Relax, you'll get to buy it at some point. We're working on their speaker amp. But now we're gonna go, we're still in the same song, it's still playing. Nine, 10, 11, 12. So where we went from like, ah, we can just, just. Look at the smoothness of that. That's a lifesaver, but not having the switch right in the front. But then we have this, like just drill another hole. Just drill another hole, x just drill another hole. Drill your holes. It's fine. I'm happy about this. Oh, what we're gonna do now. So, all right, should you get the TA26S? Instead, here's the thing. You can't even buy this one anymore. So ha ha ha, it's gone from almost all retailers. If you have one already, you're fine. The only thing you're missing out on is that volume pot being fixed. You still have a front volume control. You could be very fucking happy about. You have the more difficult to make uh, front grill. Everything else looks almost the same. There's a little bit of a difference in this bottom metal. This one looks it actually looks rusty and gluey. And this is actually like a nice piece of metal. So they changed some parts of the tube but they look almost identical on the internals. I you know that's 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 it. Um, do you need the 4.4? If you're like me and every wire you have on the earth is a 4.4, yes. Just know it's not balanced. It's not a balanced tube amp. You need literally more tubes for that. Um, but that volume pot just being like, it's like, look, I could, I could actually, I could actually versus like, I can actually feel them shaking as I put it up. So yeah, no, there is an improvement. So if you don't own a tube amp at all, guess what? This is still God King of fucking earth. I, I retired, where is it? Over there, yonder. I've retired my dark voice because of this. And I retired my dark voice with modified tubes. 
Like you, I tube rolled the dark voice. I didn't tube roll this, or I didn't tube roll this. And I'm honestly on the fucking fence on, like this is the hardest decision I've had to make in this channel in a bit. Like, all right, I got two of these. I don't need two of them. Put one in the art sale. Cause people, you know, get sell, get things out of here, get new things. Problem is, if I get new thing, it fucks me up because the volume, the power button's on the back. Although, you know what I will say? The power buttons of both of these are on the fucking back. But that's why I don't use them. You know how many times I sit here doing a review of a headphone and I'm like, you know what? It's tubes, whatever, tubes. So if I switch to this one, it will be strictly because of that volume control and not, and I'll add inconvenience to it. Although I could just have like a front panel switch that turns on a power strip or something. <sighs> Still the best fucking headphone amp, as far as tubes go. Um, as far as affordability, three hundred and twenty dollars. Wait, we have one more headphone to do, and then I'll talk about how the actual, what the actual difference in sound is, because I, I didn't go into it. I'm discussing like, hey, this is great, but I haven't said why it's great. So we're gonna go with. Uh, I still have them here, the Focal Utopia, twenty twenty twos, which when I reviewed them, I plugged them into that, and I was like. Ugh. And then I plugged them into this and was like, ugh, ugh. So let's plug them into that where it's just going to be, I'm imagining ugh, considering I really can't hear a difference between these two besides the slightest little bit more soundstage. But that's just, again, tube age, tube use, tube manufacturing. What are we listening to? Die Hard with a Vengeance. I should probably take it out of mono. That would be nice if we took it out of mono. There we go. I have hotkeys to put it into mono, by the way. You can do that in FUBAR. You could set up a DSP, like, group. So I have uh, downmix channels to stereo, and then you save it, and you could assign Alt. Alt-N is stereo, because it's not mono. And then Alt-M is mono, which is another one that's all downmix, all stereo channels to mono. And that's great for, like, when I plug both of these into this and I wanted to have it just be mono so I could adjust the settings, that's what we were doing. Oh yeah. Yeah though, these are, th these headphones live and breathe on a fucking tube. So tube differences in sound, what you should experience, it's just something different. This is probably the most linear amplifier that I have right now that I still like to pull out. It's $1,500 for this with the stack. So it's a little more than the A90D. The A90D is probably on par with it, but I like Earman because they're such a small little company. It looks like a little cute little black thing. Oh, God, little um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this into here with this stupid fucking, stupid fucking cable. I still haven't gotten over that. Um, we're gonna switch to line to input two which is the RCA inputs coming from the backs of both of these. Now, you could preamp into anything. I could preamp into those Kali IN5s and just use this as... By the way, using this as a preamp, fuck you. Much better knob. But I think I had this at 20. And we're going to put it back to mono. And we're going to raise the left channel. Okay. And now we're going to raise the right channel. Even, not mono. Ugh. Ha. Roger and the Gypsies passed the hatchet from the Desperado soundtrack. So, I'm not running a pure tube right now. Obviously, this is a solid state amplifier, but I am preamping it with, well, two tube amps so i'm getting left channel and right channel which if there's slight variances like i don't give a fuck this is supposed to be weird anyway the whole point of this is to make it weird and this is acceptable for these headphones that i sucked their dick on a tube this is acceptable it adds this like decay to the sound and like softness if you were kids give you this is uh childish gambino kids it's a great fucking song whole album camp is amazing fuck that bald guy who yells needle drop is that his name he was like oh this this album is pretentious right fuck you i listened to camp by childish gambino after he left uh community because i was so fucking upset at him 
for ruining what was the best show ever on television. And then I listened to that album straight through, and I was like, you know what? He's got better things to do. All right, that meant that's that's probably the most meaning a, an album has ever given me because I've never listened to an album straight forward to the back. I do it usually once when I get it, but it doesn't mean anything, and that meant something to me. That and some for some reason, Power Man Five Thousand. Um, what was the oh, fuck? What was the album with the uh, Son of X Fifty One and everything on it? That one. That one was that was like angsty young me. But this this album, man. Being that. Yeah, no, I would absolutely recommend this as a preamp. Even if you've got thousands of dollars in solid state equipment, tens of thousands, even if you're rock rocking a fucking HM1, all right, and, and $1,500 DAC, just put a fucking $300 tube amp that gives a shit about tubingness in between. Because it's just, I have to look at the back of it, I guess. Let's walk around. I'm going to keep listening to, to that fucking album now. Because I'm not going to lift these up. They're heavy and hot and metal. They're not as hot as it could be, but... Do you want simpler than that? It's RCA inputs. RCA outputs, in which I'm just using one of each. A power plug. And the new one's got a switch back here, and the old one doesn't. Side NG. Links to Sir NG, even though I got her somewhere else. You know, this is a... This is solid. This is a solid fucking event. Just reaffirming my my TA26 love. And as much as they're still spring-loaded and uncomfortable, but in that, this is all good. This is all good. So yeah, no, I'm done. Wallpaper in the hoard. Someone needs to help her with her dress. Uh, links to these. Patreon subscribes to help this channel. No, not just help this channel. Um, are the only thing fueling this channel. Welcome to 2023. Banks are exploding and imploding. The only thing I can rely on is patrons. And subscribe star subscribers. So if you'd like to see these reviews early, participate in yard sales first to the tenth of every month. I sell things and ship internationally for half shipping, but free to the continent of the United States and Canada. And if you want to get the sound demos, I have to double check. I think I did the I did the Utopia already, but I should have done it on a tube, and I didn't. And so I'm like, do I want to whip out the entire fucking headphone rig again to re-record it? Ugh. Anyway, there's like 300 people who are enjoying sound demos. So if you want to enjoy sound demos, that's five dollars a month. Also. You get all these things. And for $10 a month, private behind the scenes Telegram chat where I let you know exactly what's going on and you know first, literally first, like, hey, I got this and it's great. And then you can just sit in that chat and go, hey, Zio said this is great. I don't have to wait for the video to come out. I don't have to wait for them to even record the fucking video. Boom, purchase, or just, you know, ah, fucking glad he said that was shit. I don't have to worry about it. If you trust my opinion that much, you know, just that's good. Also, there's a private uh, swap meet in there where you get into look for life. So as soon as you're a $10 patron and as soon as you're in the Telegram chat, you're in the swap meet. There's a link to join it and you're there forever. And if you ever want to sell something like an original TA26 to get the one with the better volume knob or you want to, you know, buy something, it's like, holy shit, people are there's like there's still like 500 posts in there of things people are wanting to sell. And you just oh, that one click PM. Hey, you still got this for sale? Yes. No. Be done. So yeah, that's it. Hi-Fi Guides. I'm going to Munich and Axpona. I think these are both coming out. This, this video is probably coming out before that. Um, still looking for some sponsors because fucking Munich, man. I'm looking at like Airbnbs in Munich to try to share. And it's like, oh, one bedroom. That's fine. Two bedroom. Uh, refinance your home. They're gorgeous, though. Holy fuck. I'm going to do a room tour like crazy in Munich. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be hookers and pretzels and whatever else I have in Germany. 